my mic defaulted. Had to go into the properties and change it up. Four and four thirty came pretty early, Dad.
All right. Last game of the season. Four to Stinkins. Now teams ask. Looks like they get everything they got. They'd be tired as hell. I know I am. And I'm not even playing any games. Looks like Ricky Bell will get the started net for the final game of the year against Team BC. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. It's been a grind this season. It looks like BC. Pardon me, BC will start with this ring here. She was over the center line on that free pass for sure. No whistle. Ooh, nice check right at the ring at Lauer, the blue line there. Parks. Parks hits the brakes, looks for a pass into the future of the offensive zone. There's Hodges. She'll take it for a bit of a ride. Drop pass picked off by BC. Pass into the neutral zone. BC player takes a spill and back comes Parks. That's a support pass across. If enough, that gets over the blue line. If enough's able to get that one away, that's over to Formal. Formal sends that one in deep for Hodges. A little pressure behind the net, Team BC. Hodges drop. Seymour, Seymour goes for that reset. And heard Hodges pounce on that rebound. Nice work by Bell. To get the rebound on that reset. Here's Marty. Sub 41 making an appearance on stage here. Pass across to Thorson. Thorson's able to stab that. No penalty called there. Thorson takes a spill. Bell settle things down for a bit. A line change is going to happen here. A little confusion there on who was going to go where and what. That was kind of strange. Not sure what Adria was doing there. Or was there a penalty? She did get the call. She knew what the hell she was doing. So a two minute power play here for Team Sask. Will, uh, Marty. Rips a low stinger just wide of the net. Seymour's going to take it. She cuts in and back and back down low to Thorson for that one-timer right on the ringette line. Nice little play there. A little dipsy doodle by Seymour. She tries to get one to Martinson. Looks like BC's putting on pressure, but so is the so is Team Sask. Never mind. Here's Thorson. BC pushes out quite far on that. Uh, on the defense there. Team Sask, I'm sure, will exploit that soon enough. Nice little attempt there by the Meerkat. BC down low. This is number six, I believe. She changes direction. Little board pass up into the neutral zone. Picked off by Williamson. She just gives it right back to BC. But the Meerkat comes back and gets that ring. Here's... Uh, Noah Selsky, oh, just a little late on the pass across over to Worth. I can hear uh, Brent Hurstbank out in the crowd there. Just the classic cheering of Brent out there. Ooh, a little pass in front. Intended for 18, shot clock trickling on down. I think it a reset there. I'm not sure. That was Ermel. I'm fighting off the yawns here. The Sandman still wants a piece of me in bed. Divisible buy out there now for the 
Stingers. AKA Team Sass drop pass there. Hodges to Parks. Parks tries to force one across and that gets turned over. Here's Parks. Pass into the neutral zone. Trailing is Lafleur. Parks on the left hand side of your screen there. Bumps it into Hodges. Hodges back to Lafleur. Here's Lafleur, that pass across. They get that one off. And here's uh, Parks. She gets a shot away. Hodges has it. She'll cycle around to for a reset shot. That bounces off the end boards right to the BC goalie. Good pressure there by Sasky to get that turnover on the goalie ring. Little movement there by some 41, a 1 2 3 in tight shot. Nice drive by Andrea to pick that up. We've seen that play a couple times. That's worked pretty good for some 41. Adria with a little pressure behind. She's going to take it to front. Dish it off to Seymour. Seymour back to Thorson. Thorson's going to unload right into the pads of the BC player there. Going to get in the way of them shots. Ooh, nice pick off there by Seymour up into Thorson. Just a little. Oh, she is going to pick it up. Ooh, out of her reach, she falls. Seymour with a swing of the stick. Nice pressure here again by Team Sass, keeping BC hem deep into their end. Two liner. That's going to get across to Clement. Clement will slide that up into the neutral zone. That's the Meerkats got it. Over to Noah Selsky. Noah Selsky. Seymour's heading off for a line change. Look good, Ava. Up. Ooh, Ava gets hauled down. No. Oh, yeah, there'll be a call there. Another power play opportunity for Team Fast. Good start to the game. Thus far. in the chat. Good morning, Paula. Did you go to uh, New Brunswick with the team, or are you back home here with us in Regina? Meerkat's going to unleash one. Ooh, I could say that goalie was standing up, too. Could have just let one rip. Noah Selsky kind of got spun around, ended up knocking her pass off track. More good pressure here from Snorri. Great job, Corey, with a little pressure in the, or the defensive end for BC, but they're able to get it up across two blues. Nice pressure there by Willie as well. Here's the Meerkat. Up into the offensive, or the neutral zone. Nice spin move by Williams, and here's Worth. Worth. Oh, I just want to see her unleash the beast. Here's Parks. Parks looking for a reset shot or a shot on net in general. There's Lafleur. Nice drop sound to Hodges in a nice reset. Nice little play there. Hodges with a little backhand muffin and great reset attempt. Here's Parks. Parks back to Hodges. Ooh. They're looking to connect on that play. They've got it a few times. Nice hustle by Hodges. Hodges is Ooh, nice in tight shot by Parks. I think he's in the crease there. I feel like Bell's looking down at her drop passes the last few. Kind of been off the mark. That kid is absolutely huge at 13. For BC. Shot high and over the net. 3.02 left in the first quarter. That's formal. Pressure down low. Got to watch player in front. BC looking to come through that triangle. Ooh, nice shot back against the green against 
Bell, and that was just wide. 13 with a rip, or 19, pardon me. Cuomo Burton, that weak side, great job there. And that was for it, I reckon. A potential crease violation. There's Cuomo, she tucks one in with that big long stick, gets it up over to Thorson, up to Marty. Marty has Seymour on the wide side, but she's got to hold on to that. Oh, she looks for the pass across. A BC player in the crease. Nice D there by Team Sass to force that turn. Pass attempt by Seymour off the mark to Marty. Martinson slides one across to Seymour. Seymour down low. And she could have taken a shot there as well. Here's Thorson. Just throws one at the goalie. Nice shot though. High and the goalie had to be sharp for that. Thorson will hustle back. Seymour tries to pick that one off. She's going to jump into the neutral zone and put some pressure on with Thorson. Fuchs. Good pressure, good body position going into the boards there. BC 16. Number 9 for BC. Looks for the reset shot. Gets it away. Here's Fuchs. She spins and heads the other way. Got to go up the ice. Look for an option. She's got a trailer. Got to be careful. Protect that ring up to the Meerkat. Meerkat. Up to Seymour. Seymour's still on the ice. She's looking, up really looking to change as well. She'll drop and do just that. Nice pump fake by Noah Selsky. A little back Andy Randy over the net. Shot clock counting down. Sam's got to get it on the net. The goalie rig for BC. BC, two liner. Ooh, good. Who are they going to call that? Oh, I don't even know about that one. I can't even talk to Dan this morning. He said he can't even plug his headset in. I call bullshit. He's just sick of listening to me all week. Up to Worth. Worth. That was intended for Parks. Or no, that's Noah Selsky partner. Up into the neutral zone. BC's got control. Noah Selsky knocks the BC player down. He's no call there. Williamson had intended that pass for Worth just out of her reach. Picked off there. Worth. Can't get to that ring. BC player was in the way. And that'll do it for the first quarter.
So the green machine will start with the ring in the second quarter. That one slid over to Fanuf. Fanuf sends one deep into the zone. That's Parks who has it now. The divisible byline out there. Here's Parks looking for a drive. Grad tries to get a pass off. Hodges, she'll chase. Still gunning for Dad to get her a new pair of pants at the end of the year. Might have to wait till next year. No penalty called on that one either. I was surprised there. We got away with one. There's LaFleur. Ooh, nice try, but a good stick in the lane by number nine for BC. Ooh. Take note of that. Goalie ring. A player just sits on the post. A little bit of a delay and just skates right in front. That could be a dangerous one. Create a turnover. Get a shot away right away. BC slides across. Rookie Bell sharp on that. Drop behind the net to LaFleur. She... Cranks one to her right, sends one up into the neutral zone to Phaneuf. Little interference around there, potentially, in that pass to Hodges. Saski gets in the way of that one. Phaneuf zings a support pass across the ice. Little spin move there by, I think that's Williamson. She's going to get a penalty for that. Oh, maybe not. So Team BC, let's take note of this zone entry. just delay and hit that player on the left side if Team Sass just keeps that zone up at the blue line nice and wide they can cut that one off nice fake there by Bell over to Ermel Ermel spin move right back the other way nice choice by Ermel gets Seymour on the board Seymour zips one across that's over to uh, Willie Nelson she gets a shot away and gets out of the zone Nice little defense played there into the neutral zone. Little pressure. See where is our Thorson's going to come up with that one. Here's Thorson. Little BHR. That looked like it was off the post. Maybe even the glove. Nice little move there by Thorson to evade the check. Behind the net to Seymour. Seymour. I don't know where that one was going. If it was for Thorson, it was way off. Ooh, nice little check there. Thorson gets knocked off the ring. Behind the net is BC. Meerkat on the line, waiting for the right moment to change with Seymour. Nice check by Seymour there. Forces the player out of the zone. She'll head off for a change. In goes the Meerkat. Out there on D is Clement and Fuchs pass in through the middle of the player for BC 19 coming off the bench. Here's number four for BC. Going to look to get a shot off. 12 on the shot clock. Actually, seven. Sorry. Pass in front. Ooh, yeah. Rookie Bell had to be ready for that one. Little fake one way and toss the other over to the Meerkat. Ooh, nice attempt there by BC to turn that over. B Team Sass nearly got that one back. That's formal. Pushing behind the net. There's Fanuf. Snorri Tori taking a little shift at center. Nice pick there by BC, but nice block by formal. Little back pass, tight angle shot saved by Bell. Rebound squirted out, but she was able to maintain control. Slides one over. That's picked off by BC. They pass in front. Little BHR from BC. Here's Fanuf. Parks is able to catch that pass up in from Fanuf.
Here's the friendly giant, number 13 for BC. She shops at the Big and Tall Ringette store, I heard. BHR over the net. Number eight's got it now. Looking for a drive. Team Sask backing into the zone. It's up in the air behind. The oh, jeez, that almost went in. BC coming up with a little more offensive opportunities here now. Nice drive in. And BC was in the crease. Ooh, nice move there by Willie Nelson with the misdirection. Good patience there by Parks. Jade is going to go in for a drive, has a pass down low. Ooh, nice attempt. She could have faked one way and passed on the corner. And Hodges was right in her office on the post. Nice back check by Parks. Clement can't stab that one. They knock the BC player down, but Clement's right back in there. Seymour's out there now. As the center, and Marty and Thorson soon to be right behind her. Shot clock down to seven. BC having a hard time stabbing that ring themselves. They get one off the side of the net and get a reset. BC cycling around, looking for an option. 19 cut through the middle, potential pick here, yes. Here's 19, pass down low to that post. And nice drive by Jada to get that ring to bell, but the ring just rode up her stick. Pump fake from BC on the shot. Cycle around Brooks, left side, low pick. Pass right to the BC player, but Sass did a good job at reading that one. Marty, right up into the neutral zone. Thorson, she's got it now. Sends a zinger up, formal. Good recognition to jump into the play. I think BC might have been in the crease there. Thirty-two seconds on the shot clock for Dan. Oh no, he's got a fix there. Mir's gonna take that one, pass it over to Tori. Here's Worth. Drop pass for the Meerkat. Back to Worth. Nice rip by Tori there as she was drifted back. That's a tough one. Catch it while you're going backwards. Get the shot off. Nice pick set. Tori tries to tuck one in. Good defense by BC. BC is able to get one into the zone. Oh, nice stab there by that BC player coming into the offensive zone. Nine. Got to watch in front. 18. Ermel's got her picked up. Two is going to cycle high. Pushing out quite far is the Meerkat. Pick is going to be set there. Nice interruption of that play. That's Worth. She's got it. Hits the binders. Changes direction. Tries to get one up here to the Meerkat. Here's Mir. Over to Parks. Parks gets pushed out of the way. There's 13. The friendly giant picked off by Hodges. Hodges spins and goes the other way. Sends it deep into the zone for Lafleur. Nice choice there by Hodges. Oh, nice move by Lafleur to get in tight. Oh, well done. Nice move by Jada. BC player was fully committed to thinking she was skating around, and Lafleur said, uh uh. Oh, nice pass in front. Jada's got to get a head up and get those feet moving. There she goes. Pass up into the neutral zone for Hodges. Nice, another nice choice in, getting it deep, especially when Parks is there. She's got the speed to go get it. Go get it. Shot just high and wide. That's Clement. She gets in tight. Shot, nice reset. B 
BC's got it in there. Neutral zone now. Nice pressure here by Formo. Formo's really played well this weekend. I had a guy, gotta say. Defense normally not a huge impact from an offensive point of view, but you know, they contribute in different ways, and Formo's doing quite a nice job this week, in my personal opinion. Nice save there by Bell. She's got that ring now. Going to send one down here to Clement. Clement spins. Gets on the move. Backhand pass up into the neutral zone. Thorson gets knocked down. And I think that's going to be a penalty. No. This change of possession. Be nice to get that first goal. I'm uh, manifesting it into the universe here. BC was going to try and go to that left side player again, but they had that covered off instead, chose the right. Better coverage there by Team Sask. Little drive into the middle there. Nice, great D by Willie and Seymour. Here's 13. A little fake spin move to a backhandy Randy. They go for that reset and get it. That'll be the end of the second quarter. Well, throughout the second quarter here as we wait, since Dan can't even hear me anymore, just a huge thanks to Dan for a great season of coverage and a cool new app that he made. For all those watching at home, it's pretty sweet when you can get a dad or two that likes to tinker with technology and watch his kids play ringette through an iPhone. So thanks so much, Dan. It's been a great year. Hopefully we travel together for years to come. Can't wait to see what kind of improvements you make on the app, if any. So thanks so much, Dan. Still no score after two quarters, and shots are all knotted up at 13. So BC will start with the ring here in the third. Good coverage there on that zone entry. Again by Team Sask. I gotta cover up with a blanket. It's freezing in my basement. BC gets a shot away. Good job to get in the way of that shot there by Finuf. I think that was in that one. Up into the neutral zone in for Thorson. and pass across the ice to Marty. Marty's looking to be in attack mode. Tries to get a shot away. Thorson out there ready to set a pick. There it is. Marty's going to look to pass back to Thorson through the leg. Seymour's down low. Ooh, and Thorson knew it too. Tried to get one over to her. Just a little late on that back pass from Martinson. Seymour is able to get that one up into the offensive zone, but Thorson can't stab it. She steps on the ring. No whistle. Pass up in. I feel like I'm saying the word neutral zone a whole bunch. I gotta lay off that one for a couple minutes. 
Nice defense there by Willie Nelson. Nice step up too. But a nice uh, deep by 18 for BC. Nice reset there as well. Oh, nice pass up by Tori. Here we go. We got one on one with the Meerkat. Nice shot. Oh. Oh, that one was tough to tell. Even Dan was quick on the reset button. I'm going to watch that one just to see where it went. Oh, yeah, that was off the post, too. Oh, man. Nice try by Sam. Noah Selsky through a crowd. BC does a good job of protecting the top. A yeah, good option. Might be. Just bait them into that. They like to press up high on the top. Just have a trailer, let's say, at like that left face-off dot right where, just below where the ring is. Send a back pass. You have a one-on-one -on -one drive just wide open. Then dish onto the post. And how's she going? Next thing Dan will have me doing is drawing plays on a tablet for you to see. I bet you if I tell him that, he'll try it. Nice coverage there by Hodges. As well for Formal right in the middle. Nearly forces a turnover, but BC comes back up with it. Pass across. BC can't stab that. I think that was Fanuf. Gets one up to Parks. Parks tries to get one over to Hodges. Cutting across. Hodges met with two BC players there. She's slow to get up. Girls are probably just absolutely gassed after six days and ten games. Just an absolute grind. Here's Fanuf. Slides one up. That's for Hodges. Hodges looking pretty gassed out there right now. She needs to get off for a line change and away she goes. Hodges is all effort all the time. Here's Seymour looking for a reset. She gets knocked down. No call right in front of the ref. Even a little extension there on the BC player. Nice try by Willie to steal the ring there. Here's Ermel. Nice cut across. Pass up to Marty. Marty, good patience to let that slide over the blue line. Even more good patience not to just throw that ring away right away. Passes it up to Thorson. Dorset down low to Seymour. Ooh, that ring was tumbling a bit. It was hard to pick up. Seymour's going to look to go to Thorson, and she does. Just that tough angle to shoot, but we've seen Adria score more than one from that angle. Good defense there by Clement. Keep it BC in the middle. Ooh, nice save by Bell on the friendly giant. That's Thorson. She's going to send one up to Marty. She's got an option. Ella's just going to hold on to that while fresh legs come out. 14 on the shot clock. Here's, oh, nice pass down low by the Meerkat, intended for worth. Oh, nice try and a reset, too. There, Dan Lincoln's just got the shot clock going now. I thought he was just giving up on it for a minute. Too many buttons to press. Into the neutral zone. BC can't pick that up. Now they're looking for someone to pass to. Penalty coming to Team's Ask. Pretty clean game thus far. It's only the second penalty of the game. He's going to get looking. Well, that's interference. Number nine just pushed Sass player right out of the way. BC able to hold on to this ring for quite a while here. Friendly Giant gets a shot off and deflected over the net. Nice job by BC to maintain control on this delayed call. 
another reset. I can hear Coach Clement hollering instructions out there. I'm not sure what it is. I think Coach Clement wanted three defense in there. I like that play. Typically uh, one center and two defense in there. But the center does the lion's share of the skating. So Coach Clement be getting a third defender in there. So 3D running on that one. Danica heading in for body contact. So the first power play for BC, the friendly giant is still out there. Lafleur, Willie Nelson. And Ermel out there. Spin move by Williamson to head that one up the ice. BC putting on all kinds of pressure. That one's picked up by Hodges. She's going to want to be patient for that. Gets it into Lafleur. Team Sass do a little bit of penalty kill action here. I didn't see how much time there was left on the shot clock there. BC looking for a little bit of offensive action here. At, ooh, that was a tricky little ditty by number 18. recognition there from Coach Clement too. I think I like a front row seat to the coach's voices here. Nice attempt by the Meerkat to kick that one up to her skate. 40 seconds left in the penalty to Formal. Oh, a little drive right inside that. Oh, and a nice save by Bricky. Ooh, that was a quick five seconds. Seven left in the, the third quarter. BC on the attack, looks to push one up in through the middle, but Seymour's got that covered off. The pass was able to get through, but good step up there by Willie Nelson on the weak side. Oh, nice stick in a lane there by Fanuf and Seymour. Sticks down, block and passes. Nice save by Bell. Here's Williamson. Slides one up to Thorson. Thorson. Over to Formal. Formal. That's... Or no, that's not Formal. Or maybe it was. Over to Thorson. Thorson's getting in there in a nice rip top corner. Nice little step around there by Thorson. Just what Deep Sass needed. A little fake. How's she going? Right between the two defenders and on the one foot just upstairs. Adria banging her skates off like she just hit a bunker shot at the Masters. Somebody called 911, Dad. Shorty, fire burning on the dance floor again. BC looking to bounce back. Those dreaded bounce back goals seem to always happen. 
nice block there by Herbal. Shot it tight. Players trying to be careful not to go into the crease. Nice fake down low by Bell and over to Clement. Clement sauces one up to Thorson. Thorson tries to stretch one up. I think that's to Marty. They're coming to the end of a line change here. It's 41. Ooh, gets hauled down. Penalty. Negative. Refs just letting them play today. Consolation final. 11 seconds left in the third period. Seymour up to Thorson, some late game magic. That's a penalty shot! Penalty shot, penalty shot. Ooh, a four minute or... I thought that might be a penalty shot. So right at the end of the quarter here, looks like Team Sask will go into the fourth quarter with a four minute power play. Nearly 40% of the period. Yeah, all right. Into the fourth quarter we go. It's been quite the game. Super close, as it should be. Consolation final. Last game of the season. Last game. Four teams ask in New Brunswick. I'm sure the girls will take in a lot of the finishing games today as... As Nationals comes to a close, my niece Lauren, she plays in the 3-4 uh, game. So they're going for bronze. She's on the uh, Calgary crew. U19 AA, so I'll be tuning into that one. But I'll be laying in bed for that one. No announcing. That game actually starts in 13 minutes, so i going to have to be watching both here. Big thank you to all the parents, too, this uh, year that make the season happen you can't really do it without them a lot of these girls starting to get their own driver's license so some of them can drive themselves to practice but a few of us parents are talking and that ends our social life part of the parent's social life is going to practice and chumming it up with the other parents and having a coffee but that's going away real quick big thank you to the coaches as well that's a thankless job I'll tell you that Lots of time and dedication put into an entire season. The managers, Sherry, Bell, runs a tight ship as the managers. All the food moms and treasurers. And it takes a village, I'll tell you. So thanks, everybody. It's been a great season. Lots of fun. Girls are probably looking forward to summer. I know I am. And here we go, the final quarter of the 23-24 season. Thirty-one people watching. Oh, nice little pass across. Nori Tori. Oh, rips one off the post. What a shot by Tori. On and off the stick. Great job by number four. Well, that's both sides. You better believe it. All right, so we got divisible by there. Parks wants to shoot. Oh, that was a great shot, too. I could see that corner from here. Nice selection there by Parks. Parks protects the ring, gets it in. She cuts through a couple players, just like Adria did in the last goal. That might be a, a good look for the Team Sass to try and score a goal. Good hustle there by Parks. Or that's uh, Hodges, pardon me. Two players that just give absolutely everything. That's Parks and Hodges for sure. Eight on the shot clock. Ooh, nice sneaky little shot by the friendly giant there, but Bell was quick on the pad and the rebound save. 
Nice stab there by Parks. Unintentionally leaves a drop pass, and that works out quite well. Hodges can't stab that damn thing. She's got to keep her feet moving. Also going to get blown down. There you go. Change in direction. There's that uh, goalie ring again, that little pause. It almost put somebody right on that one. Here's BC with a threat. Nice save by Bell. In the crease though was maybe Seymour. Let's see that. for BC. She tries to sneak in between Seymour. Oh, nice shot there. Right in the middle here. Maybe a low pick. Good D there by Fanuf. They get one through the middle. And a shot gets away. Here's Formal. She cuts to the middle. Passes to the wide side into the neutral zone. Nice pass there by Marty. Over to Seymour. Seymour tries to force one across there, but player right in the way. Nice job by Clement. Turn that one over. She gets knocked down. Tries to kick one out. No call there again. Oh, maybe. Ooh, no. Yeah, the riff. The ref's just calling absolutely nothing. Nice change in coverage there by Team Sass. They're manning on on that center ice free pass. Here's the Meerkat goes in for an option. Shot right into the crest of the BC goalie. Ooh, BC goalie almost threw it right in her own net. That was up to Thorson. Nearly picks that one off deep into the zone. That'll get picked up by Fuchs. Fuchs is muscled off the ring though by the friendly giant. She goes in for a little extracurricular check on Fuchs. Oh, sorry, can't stab that in the neutral zone, but they'll put the pressure on. You can see players on the bench get nabbed up. Kira just slamming her blocker on the boards there. Cheering on her squad. But enough sizzles one down low. That's Park. She's going to pick it up. Pass down low to Hodges. Hodges gets a shot in tight. He good to stay out of the crease. Kid picks up the rebound. Nice work there by Hodges. Hodges fakes a drop pass, tries to get one into the middle. Here's Parks. Oh, nice shot. I thought she was going to go up high left. She went down low right. BC goalie a little out of position there. Parks will put a little bit of pressure on. Nice job by Parks to force a pass up into the middle. Nice pressure here by Parks and Hodges in the neutral zone. Oh, in the crease there for Team Sass. Chant. I tried to get that one going yesterday. It didn't work. Worth a damn. 
Good D there, a little drop pass from BC, a spin shot right in front. Ooh, oh, great job by Bell to get over there in time, but I think that was a good piece there. Close up of the Brook wall there, she's doing this just that. Great game so far for Brookie. Again, the unmistakable cheers from Brent Hersvig can be heard in the crowd. Nice to see the parents from the Bandits maybe out in force. Maybe even the Bandits are there watching. Nice defense there by Seymour and her defensive partners, Ermel and Williams, and Peck being set down low. Nice block of that pass. Long exchange here on this line for Sask. Good save by Bell there. Nice to get the line change here soon for Team Sask. Passed up to, uh, that was Formal, I believe. That's Worth who has it. She tries to send one in deep for Nowoselski. She's got it. 4 11 left in the game here. BC's going to be pouring on a whole bunch of pressure here now with four minutes left. So lots of support options will be open for the green team. That'll be a both sider. BC's able to come back up with it. Here's Fuchs. Passes one up to Worth. Worth. Better option there might have been just to send one in deep and get a foot race going. Here's BC. 28 to 22 are the shots so far in favor of BC. A laser beam pass across. Here's 13, gets that shot away and a nice save and a bat into the corner. Boots is just swarmed right away. So yeah, BC, they're gonna come with all kinds of pressure here. So there's gonna be lots of opportunities to find an open player. It's also gonna be super important to know where your players are. You might see uh, a timeout. I wasn't gonna say that, but timeout anyways. BC, I think, is probably gonna pull their goalie here. Call the timeout, bring the goalie in, pull the goalie, get four players out there. They, well, I can't even talk to Dan. I wonder if they pulled the goalie. Dan would have it up on the, on the screen if they did. You look good, Green. Keep it up now. Good hustle. Good effort. Oh, they did pull the goalie. A little sneaky sneak play there. Got to get possession of that. Get it right out of the zone. Try and move it up. Oh, nice pass down low. BC. Nice save by Bell. Here's Formal. She gets it into the neutral zone. We can shoot it right at the net because the goalie's not even there. Oh, then she gets into position. Coming back the other way, the BC goalie might skate back in. BC can maintain control here. Nice save by Bell. Not sure what the call was there. But it's going the other way. So a couple options here in my unsolicited ringette opinion. Maintain control, BC's gonna man up big time here. Maintain control of the ring, just L support, try and kill the clock. Shoot.
shoot, kill the clock, shoot, and the clock, shot clock works its way down with a reset shot. So shoot, maintain control, that's basically going to be the name of the game here. That's a nice entry pass just to get control of the ring. Marty's in big trouble. She's got to send a support. There's Nat. You'll see him. Yeah, they're going to do just that. They're going to try and kill the clock here with some support. Big time L support back and forth. There it is. Wait to shoot. Throw it into a corner. Shot clock coming down. Here's Thorson. She's going to get an uncontested shot and gets a reset. 2.10 left here. BC. The girls are going to have to empty the tank in terms of skating here. Quick shifts, get the fresh legs out there. Nice step up by Williamson in the neutral zone. But BC's able to get it in. Picked off here by... That was Seymour that picked that off. She had to get rid of it before she skated over the blue line and turns it over. Nice stick there in the lane. No, that's off the post. Oh, no way. Oh, man. One attempt here. Off a of post. Herbal got caught watching it. Oh, that's too bad. The rookie couldn't get across in time. So Herbal wasn't ready for that rebound. She was just looking behind the net. And BC ties it up. And a timeout being called by Coach Fanuf. All right, a minute and 43 to bury this one. Game ain't over yet. Here's Hodges. Gets in tight. Ooh, nice reset there by Hodges. Hodges falls behind the net. BC's going to come the other way. And Parks will put pressure on that. Here's Clement. Tries to get a stick in a lane. Jada does a good job to hold the BC player up on the boards and creates a, creates a turnover. Good pressure by BC on that goalie ring. A friendly giant's just going to muscle her way into that ring. 107 left. See what BC does here. Right at the ringette line. Hodges gets a stick on it. She gets knocked down but gets that ring into the neutral zone. Parks couldn't stab that one. Oh, a pass right into the middle. Bell, she'll pick that one up, send it over to Fuchs. Fuchs cuts into the middle. Gets a pass up to Hodges. 35 seconds left. Hodges, support pass back. Fanuf. Zings one in deep. One last attempt here at a, at a shot and or a goal. Pass across. Oh, a Thorson with a BHR. She puts the hustle on and gets to that rebound. BC sizzles one across. Into the middle, eight seconds left. Good block there by Fanuf. See what BC is going to do here. They got to get a shot away or pass across. And just zip one over the net. That'll do it. I don't know what playoff format is here for 
tie. I don't know if they'll go to a five minute sudden death or a shoot up. A little coin toss here first. So yeah, it looks like it will be an overtime. How much time though? I'm not sure. Hey, there's the green machine. Unless they're saying Team BC, I can't really tell. Ooh, formal. Thought Seymour was going into the corner. She was cutting across the top. A little bit of a crowd gathered in. Ten-minute overtime period. Be about the only way you'd end the season. Isn't that right? Good job by Marty to pounce on that ring. Opportunity to put this one away. Marty's got it. Marty, drop pass. Oh, Thorson cuts right in. He's got a little too much on that BHR. Nice interrupt on the pass there. Picked off by Seymour. Seymour spins the other way. Has formal for a support option. Gets it in deep to Thorson. Thorson cuts across. She's going to end this one right here. Nice shot into the crest of the BC goalie. And that'll be a five second or good pressure there so far. Here's the meerkat. Fakes a little shot. Tori's got it. Worth. She'll take it for a skate across. Worth drop pass to Lafleur, or that's Noah Selsky back to Worth. Ooh, nice little attempt there in the crease was BC. Here's Worth. Alex to skate it around behind the net. Fakes a drop pass. Cuts one in. Looking for a shot. Good defense by BC. Tori's still looking for an option. She'll take it outside the ringette line. Slides one over to the Meerkat, but BC, good hustle to get that ring. And the green team puts a stoppage on that. Keeping it in <coughs> the BC zone. So divisible by three is out there. Let's see what they can do. Put the finishing touches on a great season. Here's Parks. Can she be the hero? Nice defense there by BC. Like I said, they push well across the top. Short players now. Here's Parks. 
Barks takes a slash on the hand, it looks like. She's laboring, but she rubs some dirt on it. Keeps going. Nice pass. And what a goal! What a pass in front to Hodges with a sore hand. She took a slash. You see her shaking it off there. No, that was to uh, Lafleur, pardon me, not Hodges. Pass in front. Great pass. And just that nice little snipe there by Lafleur. She puts the winner in the net. And Team Sass takes home the consolation final. They run the table on the consolation side. What a great year, what a great season, what a great game. What a great logo made by Dan. Great job by the girls. Pretty evenly matched game there. But the green machine comes out on top. Good way to finish. Hugs all around for the squad. So that would be for places 9 and 10, respectively, uh, throughout the tournament. So a pretty good showing for Team Sass. I think it was 18 teams, so right in the middle of the pack. Well, that was fun. Really wouldn't want it any other way, I guess, over time in the consolation final. It'll be good to have the girls home, the parents cheering for the girls. Let's see a stick raise from the girls there, maybe. Let the parents know that they care. There they go, Brookie's gonna get it going, you watch. There we go. Big cheer from the girls. Thanking the parents for all their hard work. There's Coach Jayton. He might have even smiled today. There's my wife. Be happy to have them home soon. Did they do any kind of like presentation or anything? I don't think so. Oh, a nice little tribute from the BC gals to all the fans. That's nice to see. Thank you, fans, it says. I think that BC team had a pretty good season too to make it to the consolation final themselves. So congratulations to Team BC on a great tournament. You're gonna see the girls whip up their hair into a whole bunch of ponytails here. You watch. A little team picture here. Oh, hair primping is happening. There we go. Now they're whipping the hair up into a ponytail. Get a nice team picture here. Not going to see any parents on the ice here at national and events like this. Parents are not allowed on the ice. Just for safety reasons. Unless you're a coach, however, then you're one of the parents, which Jayton is, as is Tracy and Dana and Tara. Oh, Coach Dana went and grabbed the flag for the squad. What a great season. Girls should be proud.
Again, thanks, Dan, for all the viewing throughout the year. Thanks for everybody for watching. Thanks again, again. Big thanks to all the parents, all the helpers on the team, parents who prepared the food, treasurers, managers, all that good stuff, especially the coaches. Lots of work goes into a season of coaching, for sure. Lots of stress and lots of late-night conversations. Looks like they're going to get a picture the team and the parents in the background here as well, which is always nice. That's your 23-24 Stingers and Team Sask. On behalf of myself and Dan there in New Brunswick and the sports stream camera, thanks everybody for watching all year. We'll see you on the ice next year. Take care, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.